Hi guys, and I'm back with a review of this Dreamland uh, castle. I know a few of you have been uh, looking forward to it, and I have myself, uh, the truth must be told. Uh, but before I get into this review of it, um, I have a, sh a shout out. Someone asked me to give him a shout out, so I am. Uh, the channel is British Railways uh, 60163. Um, he's, he's a nice guy, he's a friendly guy. Um, Great channel, easy to approach. Uh, great, uh, great collection of stock. Uh, must be said, um, pretty just some of the stuff he's got, but I'm sure we all are from other people. Um, yeah, his his main feature for me, I'd say, would be his uh, layout um, in a windowsill. I think he does that twice a year. Um, so yeah, that, that's his main feature. I think it's unusual. No one does it. So yeah. Uh, his channel name again is British Railway uh, 60163. His uh, link will be in the eye, the end card, and the description. If you want to go and check him out, you don't have to, but if you do, it's there. So, yeah, as some of you may already know, um, this is a custom loco. Uh, no one makes it. It's a custom loco from a friend of mine who did it for me. Um, it is nicely a uh, box for me with um, a printout of the picture he took, um, and it's in a Will's uh, fine cast kit, I believe. I believe it's a crab. I think he said uh, the box. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I've got a weird looking box. Um, yeah, believe it or not, uh, the loco actually started out as a um, Hogwarts Express uh, loco. Uh, but going on the detail, you can, you can tell, um, I'm going to show you how it was made. Um, you can tell um, it looks nothing like it now. And the only reason you can tell is probably with the uh, chassis, when you see the wheels go around, you can probably tell with the uh, what is it, bronze style wheels they have um, that connect to the truck. It's the only reason you can tell them probably the noise of the motor. Uh, but failing that, no, you can't tell. He's done a, a, an absolutely fine job. And now the king isn't lonely no more. So next up will be um, the uh, video of how he made the uh, loco. Uh, because it's easier f um, than me pointing out he's, he's added this, he's added that, he's added this. Um, you get the picture, it's just easier. And you can see like where the parts are more clearly. Um, so yeah, that's what's up next. Here is some model information on the class. Hornby Railways currently manufacture a model of the 4073 in double O gauge. The Hornby Dubler brand, uh, then owned by Meccano Limited. Also built um, Bristol Castle, which was released in 1957 for their three rail system, and Cardiff Castle for their two rail system two years later. Wren continued the Hornby Dublo uh, model when they took over the range. Airfix and GMR, uh, later Dapol, also produced a model in double O. Trying to release a TT gauge model. Graham Farish, later Backman, released an N-gauge uh, model, and many different prototype examples have been uh, depicted by various manufacturers.
This history is only going to be short. If you'd like the full history, uh, please check out one of my other castle videos. I think Banbury has the full one. Here is some history on the Great Western Railway 4073 class. The 4073 class, or the Castle class, were a steam locomotive design of a 460 wheel configuration. Uh, designed by the Great Western, as we know, the design uh, between uh, design built between 1923 and 1950. They were designed by the railway chief and mechanic engineer Charles Collick for the com uh, for the company's express uh, passenger trains, and one uh, was streamlined, which is 5005 Mopri Castle. Here is some information on the class. Uh, power type is steam. Uh, designer is Charles Collett. They will be built by the Great Western Railway and BR Swindon Works uh, between 1923 and 1950. 171 were produced and as we know the wheel configuration is a 4.6.0 and they are standard gauge. Fuel type is coal. Uh, the valve type is piston. They operated under the Great Western Railway and the British Railway. The power class is uh, under Great Western is a D, and under BR is 7P. The actual load under Great Western is red. They were withdrawn um, May 1950 to December 1965, and eight are preserved, and the rest were sadly scrapped. Here is some information on the loco I just looked at. It's a um, Great Western number, and its BR number is 5005. Its name is Manor B Castle. I believe that's correct, so if it's not, uh, the class is 403, uh, 4073, sorry, um, and it is Castle. It's started by Collet. The wheel configuration, as we know, is a 460. It was built on the 30th of the 6th, 1927, at uh, Swindon Works. 1948 shed code is 86C Cardiff Canton and the last shed code is 82C Swindon. It was withdrawn on the 29th of the 7th, uh, 2nd 1960 at Swindon Works. It was cut up on the 23rd of the 4th 1960 and its total mileage is 1731868 and it's the only one to be streamlined as well. So yeah, ne next up is going to be um, a point test and then uh, we'll have the slayer speed. And you can just see in there the cab detail. It's a lot better than it was with the Hogwarts. Um, just now found the chassis. So yeah, the point test uh, did pretty well, uh, must be said. Uh, like I said before, time for some slow speed and then we'll get with the running session. It's not too bad.
So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. Um, like I said, this was requested by um, British Railways um, 60163. Um, please check out his channel if you'd like to. Um, like I said before, description, uh, the, his link to his channel is in his description. The I and at the end, and the end card. Um, like I said, he has to see this streamlined castle. Um, so I hope I don't know just, justice for you, mate. Um, yeah, it's a lovely made model. Like I said before, um, shame like Hornby or Backman or anyone really won't make a ready to run one. Um, because it's a shame, really. It's a, granted, it didn't last long, streamlined, the castle or the king. Um, king uh, Castle. Um, it lasted about three months. But I believe the castle did keep its uh, V-shape uh, roof on its cap. Um, and this one I'm a little bit unsure. Um, so yeah guys, uh, please let me know what you thought um, of the model really, you know. Are you a fan, are you not a fan? Um, you know, something different. You don't see many of these around on YouTube or anywhere really. Um, something... I've made it up when I put it on social media. Um, same with that one. I thought that I made it up. Even the big channels. I think it's Intercity H2. Uh, I showed him a picture of the king when I first got it, and he said I made it up. Uh, but I haven't. I honestly haven't made it up. It is a legit locomotive. They both are. Um, so yeah. Um. It ran with a few Western coaches, both of them did. Um, apart from the Midlands one that's in the middle. Best I could do. I haven't got many Western coaches. So I do apologise for any Western fans out there who um, are appalled at stock. Um, speaking of stock, obviously we had the King, which is there. We had the Railway Children Pannier Tank. Uh, we had my Bear Train. Um, which it it, it loon uh, told me to name the train. Um, I'm going with bear train uh, because there's more to come. And then in the back we had obviously the Hogwarts, uh, as you know, basically is what the um, castle is. It's a Hogwarts, um, and then we had a staff class, um, which doesn't get much love on my channel. So yeah, guys, um, until next time. Um, yeah, it's goodbye from these two beauties, and it's definitely goodbye from me. Keep safe, guys. Bye.